Yo, what is up everybody? It is Extinguished Ice here and today I'm going to be talking about, uh, it's going to be story time again, but I wanted to talk about how I got into Call of Duty. Um, so basically it was around, uh, October or November of 2011 and one of my neighbors, uh, he was playing Call of Duty World at War when I came over and I was like, oh, what game are you playing? And he's like, Call of Duty World at War. And, um, you know, I was like, okay, cool, this looks kind of fun, and, um, this is back when, you know, like, people still played the campaign for fun, and, um, you know, I was like, can we play together, and he's like, yeah, sure, uh, he hooked up the second controller, and, um, me and him started playing a lot, and, um, like, we would always play whenever I would go to his house, it was so fun, um, I loved playing on that one map, I forgot what it was called, uh, but it was like uh, the Japanese beach resort or whatever. I'm tr not Makin, um, but it's called something. I can't remember exactly what it's called. And um, But after that, we would play a lot. And then when Modern Warfare 3 came out, me and him played that so much. And then um, we just played that so much. We played a lot of Spec Ops. We played a lot of Survival, a lot of multiplayer. I even watched him beat the campaign just choke out Makarov, oh my god. And then, um, you know, Captain Price just fell, lit up that cigar. Best, probably one of the best moments in Call of Duty. Um, and then, after that, um, he had moved in January of 2012, so I didn't really have anyone to play Call of Duty with that much. And back at that time, um, I didn't even have a PS3, I was still playing PS2. I was still playing games like Fight Night Round 2, and, uh, just stuff like that. And then, I had finally, you know, heard about Black Ops 2 coming out, and I was so excited because um, throughout the summer of 2012, I, well, starting in like February of 2012, throughout the summer of 2012, I played so much Black Ops 1, like I played so much Zombies, like this was one of the first Call of Duties that I actually played and practiced and enjoyed. I played the campaign, zombies, and multiplayer. I enjoyed the hell out of every single aspect of Black Ops 1. And Black Ops 1, because of that, is one of my favorite is my favorite Call of Duty out of them all. World at War comes in second and then yeah. And um just because of that, I mean just because I played so much and I basically, you know, felt kind of fell in love for Call of Duty, um Black Ops 1 was the reason for that, so that's why I, you know, I just, I got so excited for Black Ops 2, and that's why, um, Black Ops 1 is my favorite Call of Duty, and I was just here, I remember, um, I was, I heard this one leak about the Black Ops 2 campaign where, uh, Mason, Woods, uh, Weaver, and Hudson escape from prison, and, uh, Weaver gets shot, um, it was, like, back in April or May of 2012, and, like, someone was like, if you don't want that campaign spoiled for you, don't click here, and, like, that was, like, probably one of the last games where the campaign was still hyped up, um, and after that, it's, it wasn't really hyped up anymore, but, um, that was, like, probably one of the last CODs where the campaign was hyped up because the campaign was so badass in that game, especially Black Ops 2, um, I just didn't like that there were, like, multiple endings and stuff, especially for those, uh, strike missions, that was kind of dumb, but, um, without the multiple endings, probably one of the best campaigns in Call of Duty, not the best, but one of the best, and, um, that's kind of how I just got into Call of Duty, after Black Ops 2 came out, um, that's when I met my very good friend Sterling, uh, January of 2013, and we played the hell out of transit together, we played, uh, like, every single day I got home from school, and, um, since we were on PS3, uh, we heard about the Revolution map pack coming out, and we couldn't get it until March, so, um, we got it in March, and we played the hell out of Die Rise together, me, him, uh, our good friend Hunter, and our good friend Michael, shout out to all you three guys for being homies, and always playing Die Rise and Transit with me, and then Mob of the Dead came out, we played the hell out of that, and then they weren't really online as much, so I kind of was back to, you know, my basic Call of Duty playing, I guess, back what I did in Black Ops 1. Um, how I fell in love for the series, and then at that time, uh, Vengeance, uh, came out, and I played a lot of Vengeance, that's probably one of my favorite DLCs, and then, um, after that, I kinda got pissed at Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, and I played a lot of Battlefield, um, 
and there was like a three month span where I didn't even play Call of Duty and I didn't even get the uh, last DLC I um I had game shared it for my friend but um that's kind of the whole uh, way or the whole reason I got no not reason but that's kind of like the story of how I got into Call of Duty um, and why I stayed into Call of Duty um, so that was uh, that was pretty cool but I hope everybody did enjoy this uh, video don't forget to like comment favorite share the friend and subscribe to my channel today for some more story time or gaming in general I'm extinguish and I will see everybody later why am I talking like that peace